Thank you, Karen. <laughs> as well. um, this is it, and thank you to George Camposas for coming. Great fight last weekend. That is done. The focus is this weekend. An incredible fight for the lightweight division here at MGM Grand Las Vegas, live on the zone all around the world this Saturday night. Wherever you are, do not miss this one. Devin Haney defending his WBC World Lightweight title against Joseph Diaz, looking to become a multi-weight world champion. Delighted to be joined by fathers and Kokomoto as well over there, Robert Diaz. Uh, Robert, I'll start with you. Um, we got there. I said to you last night, I don't mind saying it in front of Jojo, you know, I'm Team Haney. We were in the restaurant last night separately. I went over to you and I said, I believe Devin Haney will stop Jojo Diaz on Saturday. You nearly spat out your pasta and you said to me, absolutely no way, no way. You truly believe your man will beat Devin Haney on Saturday night and become a multi-weight world champion? 100%, 100% because I know Jojo from the young man that stepped into the office to who he is today. I tell you all, bring out your pens, get them ready. Don't call it an upset because he's been elite from day one, from the amateurs. You don't become an Olympian by just being average. He's been elite since the amateur days. Saturday night in front of Jojo, there's a very talented young man, a very good world champion, but it's good versus elite. Come Saturday night, you will all see. Look, the beauty of boxing, nothing's ever written. Last weekend you saw it, this weekend you'll see it. Jojo Diaz will take that title back to California. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Bill Haney, uh, this has been a, a tremendous journey for you guys. You've done a lot of it on your own. We've helped a little bit on the way, but it doesn't really get much bigger than this. Last time out, Mandalay Bay against Jorge Linares. This time out, MGM Grand against Jojo Diaz. And I felt like maybe a year ago, we were stuck in that position of wanting those big fights and those big nights. We really sit on the back of a great resume in 2021, where your son can go on and claim to be up there as the number one lightweight in the world. Absolutely. All praises be to Allah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. All day, every day. You know what I mean? This has been a quite a journey for Devin uh, and our family uh, to get to this point. You know, thank you, Eddie. You know, of course, thank you to the zone. Uh, thank you to Golden Boy uh, for, uh, you know, stepping up to the plate and uh, bringing on a very qualified Jojo Diaz, former Olympian, uh, what we call a bad motor scooter. He's been he's been bad for quite some time. Uh, he has a, a legendary reputation, both in the ring and outside the ring in the gym. Uh, his work ethic is uh, is, is unprecedented and, uh, and, and in his community. He's uh, he runs people out the gym. Uh, I, I did my homework on him. Um, you know he's uh, he's he's gonna come he's gonna come to fight, and that's what's gonna bring out the best in Devin Haney. We look forward to that opportunity. Um, of course, uh, Mr. Diaz, uh, you know he's once again he's dressed uh, marvelous again. You know, uh, but uh, he has different suit, but same same same. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, same suit. You know, just uh, reheated. Of course, he said he said he said the same thing about Jorge Linares. Uh, he said Jorge Linares was going to come, and uh, and Jorge Linares, uh, he, was, he thought Jorge Linares had everything to stop Devin, and uh, he didn't, and no, no different than Jojo Diaz. We, uh, we look forward to uh, Devin uh, impressively putting on an ass whipping on Jojo Diaz, uh, and, uh, and then, you know, just give us the title of the Golden Boy Killer. Hello. Last weekend in Madison Square Garden, I know this is about this fight as well, but obviously... We don't want to look past Jojo Diaz, but we saw an upset. Devin is the favorite this week as well. Talks of huge fights, undisputed fights, but this is a very, very dangerous fight in the career of Devin Haney on Saturday. Oh, absolutely. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, we, don't, we don't look past Jojo Diaz by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you saw what happened uh, last week uh, with the 13-1 uh, to 1, uh, underdog in George Camboso. Shout out to him and his family uh, doing a tremendous job. He's quite a Cinderella story. And, uh, you know, of course, we can't look past Jojo Diaz, but we can't help but uh, see George Cambosos uh, in our city parading around as if he's an undisputed champion. We're hearing conflicting messages from the Cambosos camp as if we need to do something else better. But when you have Devin Haney, you have the youngest promoter in the game, youngest world champion, 
and a guy that has not only communicated with Jojo Diaz to make this fight happen, he also communicated with Jorge Linares, and he took the initiative before the world even believed it, and 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 worked and talked with George Cambosos. We hope that uh, after this fight, that George Camboso and, and his team are men of their word, you know what I mean, and, and stick behind it, and let's make this shit happen. Thank you, Bill. Over to, <laughs> to another father, Jojo Diaz Sr. A massive moment for you as well. Obviously achieved so much with your son, but this is the biggest moment of his career on Saturday night. MGM Grand Las Vegas trying to become a, a, another division world champion for the WBC lightweight world title. Yes, that's correct. And it's not gonna, he's not going to try to become, he's going to become the world champion. Joseph has been ready for this moment for a long time. I know Devin Haiti, what he brings to the table, what, he's, what the goods that he has. But you know what? I know my son. And my son's going to do what he needs to do on Saturday night and get the job done. He is the underdog in this fight. Do you not see it that way with, with the experiences he's had over his career? Of, of course. I mean, they have him as an underdog because of the bets and stuff, of course. But you know what? That doesn't mean anything. Joe's going to go out there and do what he's going to do. And they're going to see something that they've never seen before. And finally, there's, there's respect in this fight, but spite as well, because so much is on the line. How do you handle... You know, the, sometimes the entourage of Devin Haney, Young Church down there as well, these mind games. Is that just, you just you just tell Jojo just to stay focused and yeah, block that all out? Yeah, just tell him, just ignore him, man. You know, it's just a bunch of hype and stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, this is this is a MGM boxing. It's not a circus. I mean, that's for the other casino down the street. You know what I mean? But, you know, they do what they do. He's getting paid pretty good money, you know what I mean, for to do what he does. But, you know, if he wants to embarrass, embarrass himself, that's fine. You know what I mean? But, you know, we're going to do what we need to do on Saturday night. Jojo, massive moment for you on, on Saturday night. I want to say thank you for taking this opportunity. I know that you raped Devin Haney. I know you were due to fight Ryan Garcia. We goaded you a little. We didn't need to really do that because you, you step up to challenges. And you accepted this challenge. You sit here now. All the talk, of course. Say it again. MGM Grand, World Lightweight Championship. This is the biggest moment of your career. Absolutely, and I'm excited for it. Uh, I did everything. I paid all my dues, uh, not not even inside this training camp, but just my whole entire career, uh, fighting the best opponents possible to make me uh, ready for this moment. And uh, I'm ready for this moment. I already, you know, paid all my dues inside of the ring. I had a tremendous training camp. We brought in some good sparring partners as well, and we're ready to go out and execute my game plan December 4th. Obviously, you won the IBF world title against Tevin Farmer, and then you missed weight against Rakimov. But what we've seen since that moment is a much more focused Jojo Diaz. A big win for you against Javier Fortuna at lightweight as well. You seem incredibly focused in your mind right now and in your training. Oh, absolutely. I already Because I already know that this is the moment that I prayed for my whole entire life. And for God to be blessing me with this opportunity, I'm ready for it. Um, I'm not going to cut any corners, and I haven't been cutting any corners. And... I'm just built the way that I'm built, and now I'm going to go out there and just execute what I have to do. An unbelievable fight last weekend. George Cambosas with the upset as well. Expect a tough fight with Devin Haney, a tricky fight. Everybody talks about what you must do in this fight. You must get in on the inside. You must show your dog in this fight as well. But you talked about your own technical ability as well, and, and you expect a, a tough fight against Devin Haney. Yeah, I expect it. I mean, it's going to be a good fight because we're both smart fighters. I'm not just going to be a brawler in there. I'm going to go out there and do what I have to do, adapt and do what I have to do to come out victorious. Uh, I'm going to go out there and, you know, hurt him to the body, hurt him on top. But also, I'm going to show my boxing skills as well. I mean, I'm a 2012 Olympian. I fought in there with the best fighters um, in, in, in my divisions in the past with Tevin Farmer, Gary Russell Jr., Andrew Concha, all these guys. And I'm planning on doing the same with Devin Haney. Obviously a big moment for your career finally as well, but you know, Devin Haney talking about George Cambosis and the Undisputed Championship, but a win for Jojo Diaz puts you in line for that fight on the verge of just massive career-defining legacy, super fights, super money. Everything comes to Jojo Diaz through victory on Saturday. Oh yeah, absolutely. But my main focus is Devin Haney just being the shout out him and taking his will and taking his soul uh, come Saturday night. And that's what I'm planning on doing. That's my main focus right now is just going out there and just punishing him. Devin wants to beat the shit out of you on Saturday. Take your soul. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we got there in the end. Massive moment for you. Jorge Linares was the perfect fight, the perfect time. This is a different kind of challenge. You're ready to perform and show the world what Devin Haney is about on Saturday night. Of course, you know, I want to start off by you know, I want to thank God for this opportunity. You know, alhamdulillah, you know, this is a, a huge opportunity for me and uh, my family. This is finally my time on a big stage to really show what I'm capable of, you know, 
a lot of fighters come in there and they say what they're going to do. Um, he keeps saying that what, what he's going to do about, you know, he's going to dog me, he's going to um, beat the shit out of me and all this. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But um, everybody got a plan until they get in the ring. And uh, when they when it doesn't work, then we see then we, we see what it really is. You know what I'm saying? He can say what he want to say. And um, I can say what I want to say on December 4th. I will go in there and I will show. Obviously, we saw last week an incredible fight as well. Do you feel the pressure to look good in this fight and make a statement as well? You know, the special fighters will do that. Obviously, I know winning is at the forefront of the mind, but you want to go in there and show the world how special you are. No, I don't uh, think it's any pressure. At the end of the day, I'm going to go in there and do what I got to do. Um, we had a great training camp. Um, we studied JoJo. I feel like me and my team know JoJo better than even his own coach or his own dad. We we know we know what he's gonna do. We know what he's gonna throw. We know we 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 studied him so well that we know the mistakes that we make that he makes. We know the the habits that he has. So um it is no pressure uh going in there. Uh, we're gonna go in there and do what we do best. I know that the aim is to win and you say no pressure as well but we had the conversation I don't mind saying as well about stopping Jojo Diaz. Is that the intention? from Devin Haney. I know you want the win by any means necessary, but part of me feels like you'd love to get that means of victory. See, this is what I feel with Jojo Diaz. Um, he he says that he's gonna go in there and uh, he's gonna come come right at me, right? Well, we saw how that worked with George Cambosos and uh, Tiafimo Lopez. He went in there, he tried to run at him. He had no respect and what did he do? He got caught. So either he can go, he can go in there and he, and he can get caught with a big shot early or, you know, I'll beat the will out of him. But, We'll and finally, the debate continues. Is it Jojo Diaz? Is it Cambosis? Is it Lomachenko? Is it Tank? You want to know who the best lightweight is in the world? Do you believe that is Devin Haney? No doubt. Are you asking me if, I, if I'm the best lightweight? <laughs> of course, of course. I, I am the best lightweight. And um, you guys will see on December 4th, uh, I'll be one step closer to um, having all the belts in lightweight division. And it all starts on December 4th. And uh, I can't wait. Thank you, Devin. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Jojo. Jojo.